Blind Melon frontman Shannon Hoon was no stranger to the law as he would be arrested for various offenses while the band was at the peak of their popularity. Today we're going to talk about his multiple arrests and his most controversial moments, including the time he relieved himself on stage in Canada, his arrest while on tour with Guns N' Roses, and the time he got thrown out of the American Music Awards. The members of Blind Melon all hailed from small towns and were generally considered outsiders to the people they grew up with. Hoon, for his part, hailed from Lafayette, Indiana, the same town Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose came from. Their paths would cross in Los Angeles, and we'll talk a little bit later on in the video about that. When he was a teenager, Hoon often got into trouble with the law. His mother, Nell Hoon, would tell Rolling Stone that the singer stopped being a good kid around the age of 17 and soon found drugs, booze, and crime. Nell would tell the magazine she at one point was carrying four bail bonds for her son, saying, When he got into drugs, I just gave up hope. He turned 26 and there were times I didn't think he'd live that long. Blind Melon would form in Los Angeles in 1990 and sign a deal with Capitol Records. The band would make a name for themselves thanks to their debut album, which was released in 1992 and went on to go quadruple platinum, producing the hugely popular single No Rain. The band toured extensively to support the record, opening for the likes of Guns N' Roses and Lenny Kravitz, but as the band's popularity grew, so did Hoon's drug dependency and volatile behavior. For part of 1992 and 1993, Blind Melon opened for Guns N' Roses, who were literally one of the biggest bands in the world at the time. It was during a June 1993 concert in Switzerland, Blind Melon and the Choir Boys were opening. When Guns N' Roses were on stage during that leg of the tour known as the Skin and Bones Tour, at each show they would have a man dressed as a Domino's Pizza Guy come and deliver a pie on stage during the band's acoustic set, and the delivery guy would play the conga drums. Usually the delivery guy was one of the band's stage crew members, but that night in Switzerland, Hoon decided to stick around and watch the band set. According to the book Welcome to the Jungle, which was written by Axl Rose's personal assistant, he would remember Hoon walking on stage nude, during Guns N' Roses set carrying a pizza. He would sit next to Rose, shake his hand, and Shannon would play the congas, and it was following the performance he got up and waved to the crowd and walked backstage where police officers were waiting to arrest him for indecent exposure. On Halloween in 1993, Blind Melon was in Vancouver, Canada, opening for Lenny Kravitz at the Pacific Coliseum. It was towards the end of Blind Melon's set that Hoon stripped naked on stage and started relieving himself on the stage and on the first row of the audience. The Vancouver police didn't find it a laughing matter, and after the show, Hoon reportedly ran from the cops and ended up being arrested on top of the band's tour bus. At the 1994 American Music Awards, Blind Melon would be nominated for Favorite Pop New Rock Artist along with Stone Temple Pilots and a hip-hop group named SVW. STP ended up winning the award, but my favorite moment was when the presenter couldn't even say Stone Temple Pilots' name correctly. Pop rock new artist are Stone Temple. According to the Associated Press, after Blind Melon lost the award, Hoon allegedly became disruptive to the ceremony and had to be escorted out of the venue. When guards came to remove the singer, it was alleged he hit one of the security personnel in the face. When he was taken to the back of a police cruiser, it was also alleged he kicked in the rear window, and according to one of the arresting officers, Hoon also tried to kick out the partition between the seats in the car, and he narrowly missed the head of an officer. Once Hoon arrived at the police station, he ripped the payphone off the wall and spat in the face of a detective who was interviewing him, and the charges laid against Hoon would include battery, two counts of battery on a police officer, one count of assaulting a police officer, resisting arrest, disturbing the peace, and destroying telephone equipment. He would be released on $6,000 bail, and the incident would be briefly shown in the Shannon Hoon documentary, All I Can Say, which came out a few years ago. When the band was in New Orleans to record what would be their final album with Hoon, Soup, there was an incident at a local bar where the frontman was angered by his tab he had racked up and got into a physical altercation with the bartender. An off-duty police officer intervened and arrested Hoon, and it would be his final brush with the law prior to his death. The scene is also dealt with in the documentary. By the spring of 1994, Hoon would be interviewed by the Orlando Sentinel and talked about his trouble with the law, revealing, I'm a hothead sometimes. I've got a lot of bad elements inside me. I'm trying to control them. 
at the time, he would admit to the paper he was reading The Art of War. Hoon would pass away in October of 95 during the band's tour for Soup when he was found dead in the band's tour bus which had just pulled into New Orleans. His cause of death would be a heart attack due to a drug overdose. Following his death, the members of Blind Melon took a hiatus before reconvening in 2006 with a new frontman. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. And we'll see you again in Rock and Roll Stories. Take care.